So, the last video log, and here we come back to what is art. Full circle in this class. Well, I would still say that to me, art is anything that somebody can think up, um, an idea, a creation, a concept, just any figment of imagination that someone can dream up and somehow um, incorporate it into the tangible world. Um, whether that being any of the five senses, I guess, you know, what it, smell, touch, sight, taste, hearing. I think just get being able to get it out of the realm of imagination and into, I don't know, the concrete world is really what art is. Uh, producing something or cultivating something that others can appreciate. Um, so, you know, based off of what I thought before I took this class and to what I've come around to thinking of now, um, it's, I've just learned basically that um, our modern day um, uh, technology has really done more than just made um, everyone's lives easier. It has made the whole scene for artists, um, you know, it's made it that much more accessible. And that's not something I really would have thought technology has done, but, it, you know, before taking this class, I wasn't really aware of that. So, yeah, actually, I appreciate that, you know, getting to experience not just the typical drawing or, you know, um, you know, making sculptures and things like that. I, I just liked where this class took those ideas and, you know, kind of implemented them into technology with Second Life, uh, you know, so we weren't, we were not just building a sculpture, we were designing and producing chairs or, you know, galleries and learning about these other artists who we, who I had never heard of, to be honest. Um, I guess probably 100% of the artists I had never really heard of. Um, and I guess, you know, they have used the internet and technology as a platform to advance their own art and get it out there and get it known. Um, you know, Ava and Franco, again, I, I still have my quarrels about them, um, but I like the fact that they challenged the typical ideas and um, constraints, I guess, really, of society and, you know, push the boundaries completely as to what is right and what is wrong and what should be right, you know, and as opposed to what really is. And so, you know, I don't necessarily agree, again, with 100% of the things that they were um I guess, striving for um, by stealing pieces of, you know, people's artworks or things like that. I, I agree with the concept I, more so than the actual act um, of them physically changing it. Um, but again, it's just what I learned in this class is basically that, you know, greatness, uh, whether that be in the form of you know, a child or an older person, it can be found within anybody. It's not necessarily just those who can paint or can draw or who are excellent directors or, you know, things like that. It's just more so that anyone can, it really can come from anyone and anywhere, you know, and that's basically what I will take away from this class. You know, I enjoyed it. I know a lot of, um, a lot of the other younger kids uh, in the class or the program didn't really, I guess, get the teacher so much. Um, I've been in the system a while, you know, I'm, I'm 25, 
and I've you know ever since high school, I mean, eighteen, I've been in uh, college. It took me a little bit longer to get to understand what I wanted to do in life, um, which is you know make films. But um, it took me about six years before I discovered that and got my degree in it. So you know that being said, I've been through my fair share of instructors, and you know I've dealt with all the. Uh, typical status quo teachers and then you know the other teachers who you can tell they're just do you know pushing the rounds they're not really caring about their job as much as just their paycheck and showing up to you know teach the book and then that's it so I appreciate with uh, with what the direction and I guess the freedom that you know our instructor in art 110 you know, chose to go with the class. You know, I, I mean, I, I appreciate the, you know, the Second Life stuff, even though it was very frustrating. I, uh, you know, I appreciate, you know, this, the legal graffiti walls, uh, getting to experience that in Venice. And it's basically, he was just opening up all these different doors and ideas to people who, uh, I don't know, I would imagine wouldn't, have ventured into before and so uh, you know of course yeah I'm, there's no denying he's an, excent an eccentric guy Glenn you know but I think that's part of what makes him amazing you know I uh, really enjoyed his you know teaching in the way that his methods basically and I'm sure that as the kids you know continue on their career they'll probably learn to appreciate him you know after um, in retrospect, because they'll realize that, hey, this is a guy trying to help us enjoy what we're learning, not just, you know, trying to teach us something for the sake of teaching us. So, I'm sure that uh, that passion that he has will eventually um, sink into <laughs> um, the hearts and minds of the others, but, you know, for me, this is the type of instructor that I, you know, always hope to have. Um, I've had very few, and you know, personally, thinking outside the box, I've always found is the most successful way for doing anything. So I would say that I don't have any complaints about the class. Um, again, uh, Second Life was a little frustrating to learn and in, learn into a semester. You know, to get completely down because when you have other things like jobs and th things like that, it kind of you know puts a damper on the time you have to do these things. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I like the class. I liked every thing that. He, we taught. I liked the course. I liked the fact that, you know, it was 14 weeks of doing projects, um, you know, and no tests and things like that because it's more hands on. You were uh, doing it rather than just uh, reading about it. So, with that being said, um, I have uh, no bad feedback uh, other than the fact that I would probably appreciate it if the class was a little bit smaller but I mean it come on what are you gonna do so uh, that being said I think that's going to have to conclude my last video log my last time talking to you guys and uh, I'm signing off with that and uh, hopefully I get to have some classes with uh, some of the UTAs sometime or maybe ask you guys to be in a short of mine or I don't know, something, because I enjoyed all your guys' company as well, so thank you very much for taking the time to grade our papers and help us out when we needed any help, and uh, I guess that's the whole thing with my video logging, and with that, I sign off, and I say thank you very much for your time, and I hope you enjoyed my company and my projects, and... Hopefully you'll be seeing my name up there in the credits one day. So thank you guys. Bye.